Nova Batil was an aspiring young African American woman who grew up in the town of Little Rock, Arkansas on December 7, 1941, with the dream of bringing an end to segregation. Melba was raised knowing the importance and value of an education, which may be the reason she was such an inspiring and successful African American in history. Melba's mother, Louise Marie Patillo, was one of the first black graduates at the University of Arkansas in 1954. Louise Patillo was teaching English in the time of Melba's youth. As a young child, Melba made history as part of the group the Little Rock Nine. The Little Rock Nine was a group of nine African American students involved in bringing an end to segregation at Little Rock Central High School in 1957. Of the original 17 students that had signed up to attend Central High, only nine others, including Melba, were able to endure the threats of violence while at the high school. Melba was the first of the Little Rock Nine to write a book based on her experiences at Central High, which was published in 1994. This is essential to Melba's history because it recaps Melba's childhood and allows the reader to understand what happened in Melba's young ages. In August of 1957, Melba Patillo traveled to Cincinnati to visit relatives. While in Cincinnati, Melba experienced the ability of freely going to watch a movie while with a white friend. It was an unforgettable trip for Melba, and for the first time in her life, white people were friendly towards her and treated her with respect. This trip to Cincinnati inspired Melba to bring an end to segregation in Arkansas, hoping she would receive the same respect in her hometown of Little Rock. By the age of 15, Melba Patil had learned how to relate and associate with the media. She also decided to pursue her dream of journalism. In 1961, Melba Patillo married John Beals. They had one daughter, but divorced after 10 years of marriage. She adopted two boys after the divorce. Around the age of 17, Melba began making and selling articles to popular newspapers and magazines. She soon receives a master's degree in journalism at the University of Columbus. Shortly after, Melba worked as a news reporter for San Francisco's public television station. Melba was a very inspirational woman who slowly, but surely, changed the lives of African Americans. She was capable of proving that you can go anywhere you want in life, as long as you have the courage and motivation. 